guys I have not done a wig review I believe it's been over an entire year probably a year and a half I haven't done wig reviews I've actually been making more wigs than I have been purchasing wigs and uh, I'll make sure I put a, a link to that playlist in the description box of all of the wigs that I've done reviews on. I've done the Miko wig, the Drew wig. Um, there's a couple other wigs that I have um, done, cut up, and kind of played around with. And um, I just haven't done one in so long that I figure spring was a good opportunity for me to start doing wig reviews. Mainly because I, I'm scared to color my natural hair right now. So I figure it would be a good idea to just start doing wig reviews on hair with color just to see what I look like. Um, so you're going to see a couple of these being spit out for, you know, the spring season. But the review, wig review that I'm going to be doing is on the bump wig, the Fab Fringe. I'm sure you guys have seen this wig circulating around on YouTube. Um, two girls, um, Andreana Thomas was one, uh, Miss Diva Like. Um, it's a couple other girls, but those two were the main girls who kind of inspired me to get this wig. Um, this is the Fab Fringe. It's in the color Caramel. So. I don't know if it's going to focus very well, but I just want you guys to see what this package looks like because I haven't taken it out yet. So it's going to be new to you uh, just as it is new to me. Um, I got it from EbonyLine.com and I ordered it on a Sunday and got it on a Tuesday. So their service customer service and how fast the wigs get to you is great I will say that um, I'll put a disc uh, link in the description box um, that way you can just go straight to it purchase it or whatever you want to do but I'm gonna take it out and this is what it looks like inside as usual with all full wigs it has the elastic bands in the back it has the comb and Wow, no combs at all in the front. So, more than likely, I am going to add combs to it. Um, I'm probably going to add combs in the temple area of this wig and probably switch out this back one. Um, it's kind of too small for me. I like combs to be pretty wide uh, in the back because I don't like all of that extra tension right in the center of the back of my, my head. So, I think that's what I'm going to do is... Two on the temples and a, a wider one in the back, even though there's elastic band in the back, which I'm not going to cut off this time. So I'm going to put this wig on now just to see what it looks like. Now, guys, what my hair looks like. Um, it was recently in a two strand twist that I have been sleeping on and revamping every morning. And I just said, I'm tired of it right now. Let me put my hair up. So. I found this is better than corn rolling it because it's so much work corn rolling my hair. My hair is very thick. So, um, especially when you're wearing short wigs, your nap, the back of your head, usually when you corn roll it down um, towards the back, for those of you who are like beginners or trying to go really fast with it, um, your braids stop at the bottom and it kind of creates this bump in the back. I find it easier to just do corn roll, not corn rolls, but just single braids and then kind of pin it up into the center so that it'll flatten out that's just what i do now since my hair is a little bit longer but yeah just so you can have the nap area a little bit flat unless you're one of those people who can corn roll your hair in a nice little <laughs> beehive i don't have time for that but ooh, it fits nice already all right so See, can you switch it over? I haven't tried doing that yet, but it's cute even on that side too. Alright guys, so really this is the first time you guys are seeing me with this much amount of color. This is 100% human hair, you know it's the bump um, collection, so it is 100% um, human hair, but let's see. See how the back flat? Hmm. Nice and flat in the back. So I think I like this, guys. 
I'm gonna have to curl it because it's all in the face. I'm definitely gonna have to cut it some, especially this one side. All right, guys, so I'm going to speed this video up because I am about to style this while it's on my head. Just kind of fix and shape it. Um, this is all I'm using. Then I'm going to bump it with some um, flat irons. But you can get these from the beauty supply store. Uh, razors. I like to use these for short hair because it kind of lays the hair down in certain areas. So I'm going to speed this video up. Tell me what you think. I, for one, like it. Um, I wanted to layer it some more on the top, but then for some reason I feel like I shouldn't just yet. That might be a revamp video, I don't know. But I actually like this, and my sideburns are like peeking out on this side, which to me is good because I look like Too Faced. <laughs> one side's black, one side's blonde. But I actually like this color and I do really like this wig. Um, you know how people talk about wigs that shed a lot and dealing with shedding and all that. I have not experienced that from this wig at all. And I think short hair wigs you just really don't. But um, I've always been a fan of short hair so I'm a fan of short wigs but um, just so you guys know you're gonna be seeing some more videos of me doing different types of wigs in color um, I don't know what the next one is gonna be because I do have a couple of wigs but I like this Ow! I really like the color against my skin tone especially against my face so I I really like this so um, tell me what you guys think. Um, I'm definitely going to be making some mid videos with uh, me making wigs and color. I think the next one I'm going to do is platinum blonde or I don't know a long wig with this color. I don't know but uh, just just be ready. I'm going to be pushing out a lot for spring because I want to see me with some color without having to touch my own hair just yet. Um, but other than that guys this is the fat fringe wig on uh, the color caramel or caramel however you want to call it I'll make sure I got all of the information down in the description box even other videos that you might be interested in that you might have missed and I will see you guys in the next video love you guys bye <laughs>